Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm swatching the seven new satin lipstick shades from Unearthly. So if you guys just want to see some quick lip swatches, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I really enjoy posting swatches because I feel like it's really hard to find swatches of different makeup products, especially new releases and especially on video because I feel like you get to really see the differences and the subtleties when you see them live and up close. So if you like tan girl friendly makeup, if you like to see swatches and new makeup releases, this is the place for you. Highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, so if you guys are familiar with my channel, you know Unearthly is one of my favorite indie brands and they were so kind and they sent me their newest satin lipstick. So I have all seven of them to swatch for you guys. They have had this formula before and I have the whole range. I can't remember if I have a video swatching the original shades on my channel, but I think I might have had a story highlight on Instagram or something, but I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch the seven new shades. Now I'm actually wearing the shade Gianna in this video. It looks like this, and I filmed this look, so once this eyeshadow palette is announced, I'll post that video, but I wanted to film some lip swatches for you guys in case you were curious about these, so let's go ahead and get into the lip swatches. Also, I wanted to show you, I do have the original shades right here. This, this is my Unearthly Cosmetics lip drawer, and I just have these right here looking all beautiful, so can't wait to add the new shades as well. And in case you guys are nosy, this is what the packaging looks like. Super beautiful on the back. It says it's a net weight of 5 ml or 0.176 fluid ounces. These are made in China, 24 month shelf life, cruelty free. And here's a quick look at the packaging if you guys are interested. Super cute. And then here is what the component looks like. There's this little dome with all these like fun little sparkles. So yeah, those are super cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and swatch. Okay, so I'm gonna try and swatch lightest to darkest. So the lightest shade is called Olivia, and this looks like a very, very light nude. It's definitely not the kind of color I would wear on its own, maybe with a lip liner, but... This would also make a really beautiful like mixing shade, um, but it's a very light nude peachy color. Definitely reminding me of like the concealer lips of the 90s. <laughs> but that is the shade and this is a satin formula so it doesn't completely dry down but it's very, very comfortable. And for the most part, it doesn't move around too much. Okay, so this is the shade I was wearing in the intro. This is Gianna. This is really pretty. I think this will look so good on light to medium skin tones. It's gonna be like the perfect terracotta nude shade. I also really like the applicator on these. It's really cool. It has like a little bend to it, so it makes it really easy to apply on the lips. It's like a very small detail, but it's definitely a game changer. So this is the shade Gianna. Ooh, so smooth. Okay, so this is a shade I'm really excited for. It's called Amber, and it looks like a terracotta nude shade, so Let's see here. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Mm. This is my kind of color. Perfect for fall. I did just get her liquid lipsticks in too. I ordered three shades and it kind of looks like the shade called Fatal. Um, so if you want the matte liquid lipstick version, this might be a good option. I'll have to compare them, but mm, really like the shade Amber. 
she's gonna be my girl. Okay, next shade we're gonna try is Aurora, and this looks like a really pretty, like, rosy shade. So I'm very excited to try this because I think this is gonna be beautiful for fall. I am. Mm. Uh huh. This is so pretty. It's like a muted red. Mmm, I really like this. I don't think I have a lot of shades like this. So very, very excited to see how I pair this with eye looks. Okay, the next shade is called Marianne and this one looks like a vampy red shade. Ooh. This is pretty. This is gonna be that red shade that's like flattering on so many skin tones and it's gonna be great for the holidays, especially if you're into wearing a red lip to like a holiday party. So pretty and it was like effortless to put on. So really, really think this is a beautiful shade. Okay, the next shade is Gloria and this looks like another dark rosy red shade. Ooh, it's like a muted vampy shade. It has like almost like a hint of brown to it. This is pretty. And like I said, that shape in this brush makes it so incredibly easy to apply. It's kind of crazy. Wow, this is such a cool color. I really, really like it. It looks, do you see it? It looks rosy and like muted in the bullet. So very, very cool shade. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, time for the last shade. It's a dark chocolatey brown color. You guys know I love shades like this. Mm -mm -mm. This is pretty. This reminds me of like my mom in the 90s too. You know when the dark brown lipsticks were really in? <laughs> So pretty, so chocolatey, and delicious. Did I tell you guys the name of this one? It's called Danielle. Mm, 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 mm. So there you have it, guys. I swatch all seven of the new satin lipsticks from Unearthly Cosmetics. I don't have any information on launch days and times or anything like that, but check the description box because I'll put them down there. And as always, I do have an affiliate code with Unearthly Cosmetics. It's just KH Makeup, and you will save some money on your purchase. You don't have to use my code. Just make sure you use somebody's code so you can save some money. And yeah, I'm so excited to keep playing with these. You guys are definitely going to be seeing these all over my channel and I'm really excited. My favorite shades I think are Amber. I really like the shade Danielle too and honestly most of these are favorites because I think some of them are super unique and then they're also going to be really easy for me to wear every day. So anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the lip swatches. Let me know your favorite shade down below and I will see you in another video very very soon. Bye guys!